everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy. One day, I will set this right. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trace here. Your part 12 is Kingdom Hearts Dark World. Let's watch. Because the last episode, a lot of stuff happened. I am still in shock. I'm still not over what happened last episode. I'm still in shock. But essentially, her died, and I'm still sad. Like, why? Like, why her? Why her? <laughs> Why? Yeah, other than that, I'm pretty sure we were trying to escape the underworld, and then some portal kind of sucked us in. The group got separated into two groups, so it was Xehanort and Ericus and Erd and Hamad. So in order to survive in the dark corridors, they had to wear the Keyblade armor, but even then, that's not really strong enough to protect them. Only the Ordination Cloak is, like, strong enough to protect them. So Xehanort and Ericus are trying to find Erd and Hamad, and Erd and Hamad were kind of, like, trying to find them as well. But unfortunately, they spent too much time in the dark corridors because Hamad started getting corrupted by darkness, Whereas Erd kind of was strong and she wasn't really getting corrupted yet. And after that, their armor started disappearing. At least the helmet anyway at this point. But I kind of missed this last episode, but apparently someone kind of came to Erd and Hermod and took him out. Because if you guys watch the cutscene again, you'll see Erd kind of turn around with a smile, thinking that someone trying to save them. But all you see is kind of like all darkness. So, see, I think some sort of darkness or someone took him out. Which is why in the next scene, you see them both lie on the ground. And then the armor disappears and then they both disappear. See, I kind of missed that last episode. I noticed it once I started editing. Yeah, I'm curious to see what this darkness is. Like, I'm not sure if it's like actual darkness or like maybe it's like Lu Shu or when we got the Master Master. Or I guess at this point, when it comes to Lu Shu, it's probably Broggy. Like, can you imagine like Broggy taking them out? That'd be kind of insane. But yeah, also, you guys will see in the next cutscene that the darkness also visited Zaynor and Erica. I'm assuming the darkness might have tried to take out both of them as well. But fortunately enough for them, Odin came and saved them. Or at least he didn't really save them. He kind of like scared it off. But even then, Odin didn't know that. Yeah, also another thing is that that darkness could be Balder instead because if you guys look in the bottom cutscene you guys will see you know a little bit of spoiler but Balder got corrupted by darkness so yeah, it could be Balder who knows yeah, I'm still really sad that Earth died uh, it should have been me not him it's not it kind of makes sense because we kind of saw what happened in the beginning of this game as well as you don't really see her in the future of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, chances are that she died. But hopefully in today's video, no one else dies. Like surely they can't kill any more characters in this game, right? There's no way they would do that to me, right? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, get into the cutscenes. So yeah, first cutscene is Journey's Reward. So let's go. So this is probably after... Well, two years later, okay, so this two years later after... Wait, hold on, I'm not exactly sure. Like, the thing is, the timeline in this game is so confusing. Also, Erika's did not change at all. You see that? Erika's his hair is the same, whereas Zeno's hair got longer. But yeah, like, I'm not sure when this happened or where this is in timeline. Is this after everybody died or is it after Odin found them and two years later? I have no idea. How was it? It made me think. About a lot of things. Oh, maybe this is after Zaynor left. You guys remember that cutscene where Zaynor's in the graveyard and he kind of left to explore the world. Maybe this is after he came back. Patrick, your genius is showing. The events of the past, what's to come? What about you? Wasn't it always your dream to travel abroad on your own? Oh yeah, so this is after Zaynor left and then came back. Yeah, essentially, Zaynor's like Sasuke, except he actually came back to the village. <laughs> Oh man, look at empty chairs. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. I'm curious, like, did they leave it like this? Like, you know how sometimes when someone passed away, you don't really want to change their things and move around their stuff? Like, maybe there's like one of those things where the chairs are exactly where they left it the last time they were in class or something like that. Especially with all that's happened. Okay, so I'm assuming this is after everything that happens in the present, I guess. So, at this point, everybody died. Like, I'm not even sure even Odin survived or not. It made me realize that one lifetime is too short. And this is where Xehanor learns to start swapping bodies. And now he can live forever to kind of achieve his dreams. You only get one. That's why you have to live it to the fullest. If only you knew Ericus. If only you knew. Like, you know, Xehanor technically didn't really swap bodies to live forever. Because he's still in his, like, old form, I guess. I guess you kind of swap bodies to try to get more people to join his team, I guess. It's not enough. Isn't that why you find people to carry on your legacy? Yes, but I'd rather do it myself. Then you know that one guy who does everything by himself, like the DIY guy. Someone's ambitious. Okay, then how many lifetimes would you want? 
million. Hmm. Twelve. Wow, okay, so 12 exactly enough for one organization team, huh? Isn't that convenient? Or 12, and then plus him is 13. This is where Zeno kind of planned out his actions. I think at this point, he knows the future. But I think he talked to the Master Master already. So he sort of knows that he could form a team of like 13 people. Or 14 people technically with Xion. No. 13. What? <laughs> Look at Erica Smith. Oh my god, he's like, what are you talking about, dude? You're crazy. Right now, he's up with the 13 again. 13? Nani? You gotta be kidding. Why so many? How else am I gonna form the organization, man? That's what it'll take to rebuild the world. See, at this point, Zaynor knows exactly what he has to do. It's kind of interesting. You must have one amazing plan ahead of yours. Oh, if only you knew, Ericus. If only you knew. Zaynor saw a fortune teller, so now he knows the future. Scratch that. A million. One more to explore the new world. Uh, 14? <laughs> I'm like, Erica's is like, you're crazy, dude. Okay, so I'm curious, just one more to explore the new world. Because right now in organization, we know that there are at least 14 members, including Xehanort. Can you imagine there's like one extra organization member that we don't know about? Like, and then that's like 15. That'd be kind of cool. I highly doubt it. We all have our dreams. We? <laughs> we. <laughs> dreams, huh? Yeah, what's yours? To become a Keyblade Master? I want... World domination! I need... A tailor. I need... I need... A tailor. And then Eric is like, I need a tailor. To stay true to light. Hmm? What brought that on? Eric saw a light bulb and he's like, I like light. I like Squidward. In case anyone finds himself lost in the darkness. What is Eric trying to be? Like a lighthouse or something? I want to be a beacon that guides him back. Okay, literally, Ericus's dream to be a lighthouse. <laughs> That's his dream. I see. Hey. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, you're a loser, Ericus. I am not. No, it's the perfect dream for you. I mean it. Think about it. Yeah, can you imagine being a lighthouse? Just standing still forever. Knowing you, if you wound up wandering into the darkness, I'll bring you back. You try to escape on your own and just end up heading deeper in. But not if I were around to rescue you. You're welcome, buddy. It's true that running away isn't my forte. Unlike someone I know. What did you say, punk? Thanks for always being there. I'm the best, right? Last episode, okay. Seven lights and 13 darknesses. Wait, hold up. I thought this was the last episode. Or the little episode. I could have sworn the last episode was this part. I guess I'm tripping, man. So I guess this is technically the last episode. Alright, so we got a decent amount of cutscenes left. Okay, next cutscene, doubt. Alright, so are we back in the present now? Yeah. Look at Zaynor playing by himself. What a loser. Ericus did not change at all in two years. You're an idiot. Maybe he cut his hair, whereas Zaynor didn't cut his hair at all. Yo, Ericus is that one guy who tells Zaynor to look the other way and like, steals pieces and throw out the window or something. <laughs> Look at older man. It's all your fault. Looks at the scribbles on the chalkboard. I wonder if that means anything. Or just like a bunch of random scribbles. It makes no sense. It looks like the quadratic formula or something like that. But we lost is immeasurable. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. However, none of the responsibility lies with you. Yeah, it's all your fault, Odin. You didn't prepare us for anything. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. The upperclassmen departure and my inability to identify this new darkness are to blame. Yeah, it's all your fault. But we must forge on. Your sacrifices must not be in vain. Yeah, look at these guys never push in the chairs, man. It's always a mess. Are we the ones who made it back? I don't know about you guys, but whenever I finish class, I always push in my chairs. I don't just leave it there, man. Yes. Hermod and Urn. Oh, I kind of missed what they said. I'm kind of too busy looking at the chairs. I'm an idiot. And Bragi and Balder in the Underworld. Balder? You cross paths? You should know better. Yes, Balder is the Forbidden Child. What? We went to the Olympus Coliseum together. But we don't know what happened to him. In before, at that point, Balder was already possessed by darkness and he lured us there in order to take us out. Wow. He's right! How can that be? Balder's dead. What? And that's like not even the real Balder. Whoa. I don't know why that shockwave or like that earthquake kind of reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And like the main story, earthquakes keep happening and stuff like that. And that's really important to like the main story. So it begins. Oh, he could take off his hat? Oh, never mind. I thought he could take off his hat. 
Oh, you're gonna summon that Keyblade, or you gonna give it to Xehanort? Oh, that is Keyblade. I will evacuate the remaining students. Hey, I doubt it. What students? Didn't all the students here? <laughs> I have not seen a single student in campus at all. Do not leave this classroom. Here's where Odin dies. Master Odin, what's going on? All right, Erica, do you want to play some chess while we wait for Odin to do what he has to do? That look tells me you know what's going on. I almost wish I didn't. Is it... Is it Baldur? I think so. Alright, this is what we see Baldur, corrupted by darkness. So, Bragi is... Yes, he's Lushu. And her mod and Erd. No. Yes. How could this happen? Why? Why? <laughs> he lost his sister. Anyone would be weak to darkness after that. Oh, okay, this is what happened to Baldur then. Where are you going? I'm taking the middle road. It's the road to dawn. Mass Order want to deal with him, right? I'm going too. I'm gonna purge the darkness in Baldur's heart. What is Baldur, man? Is he like Orochimaru or something like that? Trying to take out his former teacher? Baldur's actually Orochimaru with Ultra Instinct powers. That's crazy. Ericus, wait! Wait! Oh, we're fighting Vidar. Oh, okay, so I guess we're fighting Vidar and Baldur? Maybe Baldur teaming up with Vidar, who knows? Alright, so versus Baldur. Oh my god, what's going on, man? There's no way Baldur's doing all this. He can't be everywhere. Actually, no, Baldur has Ultra Snakes, though. He can teleport everywhere. It makes sense. Wait, Eric is trying to find Baldur, but he's just standing here in the gate, looking out in the waters. What are you doing? Things seem to be under control here. Let's leave it to them. It feels like forever ago when we first left this world. I don't want to lose any more of my friends. I need to get Baldur back. Eric is still Naruto, but Baldur is Sasuke. Help me, Xehanort. You're crazy! Even knowing what he's done, say it was Baldur who took out the other three. Hermod, Erd, and Bragi, even though at this point they don't know that Bragi's still alive. Alright. He has sound. Ultra Instinct. Ball in their mind. I thought it was like Baldur or something like that, but Vidar, Vali, and Vala. Vidar, what are you doing here? We sacrificed Vor for the greater good. You what? What? <laughs> what happened? It turned out that Baldur was taken over by darkness, and now we're the only ones left. I knew it. I didn't think he'd turn on any of you. You what? You knew about this? Wait, you knew? Yes, I knew Darkness had chosen him as his vessel, but I couldn't bring myself to take his life. I'm sorry. None of this would have happened if you protected Holder. Darkness wouldn't have found a way into Baldur's heart. Okay, so I think after Holder died and Baldur was in Maleficent's castle, I think Darkness overtook him. I don't think that Maleficent actually killed them. I think it was the Darkness, either possessing Maleficent or pretending to be Maleficent. And he killed Holder to make Baldur weak, and that way he can jump into Baldur and then take out everybody else, I think. Right there, down, right there, down. I mean, maybe like Baldur's like the strongest one. I mean, that's why he wants to, you know, use his body instead, but I don't know. It's just my theory anyway. And we'd all still be training to become Keyblade Masters. It's all your fault. I always hated you, Claude. Ericus, no, don't let your anger take over. That's what happened to Baldur. My anger might take over, but the darkness won't. Get him! Get him! I always hated the Golden Deer out. That's blasphemy! Absolute blasphemy! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. If this will make you feel better, let's do it. Xehanort, you said you're help. Nah, I'm good, man. It's all you. Alright. That's two against three, man. What the heck? There's no way. Actually, no. Xehanort and Erica is probably way stronger than those three. Because they got plot armor. All there's darkness. Wow, look at that. Xehanort is the only one that like, still... What the heck? What's Eric is doing, man? That's enough, Eric. Oh, okay, never mind. Eric is trying to attack them, but Xehanort stopped them. Isn't it kind of interesting that Xehanort is the only one who's still standing? Everybody else is so tired, and Xehanort's like, I can do this all day. That's enough, Eric. You wanted to defeat the darkness, not your classmate, remember? But they are darkness. Have you not seen a ninja guy? It's literally darkness. Baldur was. I never thought he was the kind of person who would fall to darkness. I didn't want to believe it either. He's the brother of a good friend. That's why I was willing to bet on Kingdom Hearts to purge it all. Uh, there she goes again. 
I am so done with this. Oh my god, man, this guy is literally trying to start the purge. I bet you would dart like one guy who created the idea of the purge movie. <laughs> That's not going to happen now. And even if I could, I wouldn't. Wait, where's Vor? We sacrificed her. She headed to the tower to report to Master Odin about her return. Oh, I guess Vor's dead now. <laughs> I told her that he's likely to be there meditating. So that was a fucking lie. Meditating? What are you, Jiren? Is Master Odin Jiren? He's like meditating to get stronger before he fights. So you haven't managed to gather the seven lights. Balder. Has the darkness taken you? I could play the part if you like. Oh my god, Balder. I trusted you, man. I thought you were cool. I thought you had ultra instinct powers, but it kind of makes sense. Like, I kind of knew Balder was going to be somewhat evil. Could he remind me a lot of that one character from Yu Gi Oh? I don't remember what his name is, but yeah, he reminded me a lot of him. You. <gasps> my heart. They know it's like I discovered a new power inside of me. The power within. Yeah. So it's true. I was worried you'd tell everyone my secret. You've known for a while, haven't you? You what? You knew a Xehanort? Balder, darkness may have found a way inside your heart, but you're still you. You are you, and nobody else. I am me. Nobody else. I'll bring you back to us. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> All those like Roxas. Are you sure you want to do that? We're one now. If I disappear, he will too. Cause you and me, we're like brothers. Only closer. <laughs> There's no time to debate this. We had no other choice. Take him out. Do you really think I let you even try? I have business at the tower. I'm going to see Ventus. Put an end to me. My friends will keep you company. Oh my god. The Invisibles. The tower. He's going at the Vor. He's done enough. Leave Vor to us. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. He's gonna Vor Vor. I think I'm gonna be sick. I think I'll be sick. Yo, look at this. This is so cool. Oh my god. That was totally wicked. You can tell these guys spend money in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. <laughs> they got all the good skills, man. Come on. They're a bunch of whales. <laughs> I bet you they fully guilted everything and all that stuff. And Mickey and Brooms everything. <laughs> Stop. He's already dead. Right behind you. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? Oh, right behind you. I don't know why you said it like that. <laughs> um, okay, so two four. Four, please be okay. Nah, once you get there, go to see on the ground. Could you not be yourself? For five minutes! Actually, no, you know what? No, Vor is actually really strong. Have you ever seen her lift up that boulder one time? Vor can destroy everybody here. Like she's literally she hulk Balder, it's been a while. I'm not the Balder you knew anymore. Chidori! That was not necessary at all. That was just a short cutscene. Why don't you put it all in one cutscene? Okay, well, it was Fallen in Darkness, day one. Oh my god, it's Balder in what's called solitary confinement or like the insane asylum. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a straight jacket, right? Because his hood or hoodie is like white. It looks like he's wearing a straight jacket, but it's not. It also doesn't help that the walls are white and there's absolutely nothing in his room. She's gone. Day two. She's gone. <laughs> don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Four. They couldn't protect her, and now they're gone too. My gosh, so Baldo's sitting on the floor for an entire day. He's gotten insane. Day three. He's still on the floor. <laughs> Baldo's been sitting on the floor for three days. three days. He did not move at all. He didn't sleep. He didn't go to the bathroom. He didn't eat. He's sitting on the floor. Why couldn't they? I always hated them. Why wouldn't they? Oh my god, this reminds me of that one scene from Spongebob, but Spongebob kind of goes crazy, and Patrick's like, You're scaring me, man. Who do they think they are? I've given the best years of my life to this place, and they think they can just fire me like that? Like trash? I don't think so. Spongebob? Uh, anyway. Is that you? I've been waiting for you, Patrick! <gasps> uh, 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 uh. Spongebob, you're scaring me! Uh! <laughs> Day four. Yo, get off the floor, man. What are you doing? Don't tell me what to do. They disappeared? Were they erased? Huh? Huh? Coincidence? I think not. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I love it getting darker and darker every single day. Not only that, but you see the shadow getting bigger and bigger. But I guess Odin forgot to pay the electricity bills. Ball doesn't suffer and be in the dark now. 
Or maybe they forgot to change the light bulb, so now there's no light in his room. I made my sister disappear. Day 6. Oh my god, this might be like another SpongeBob thing where it's like band practice, something like that. Where they're kind of like practicing for like the big bubble bowl, the whole day transition. That's what it reminds me of. I made her friends disappear. Day 7. Your ball is literally sitting on the floor for a week straight. A world without her may as well fall to darkness. No! You know, Baldo, I kind of agree with you. I kind of miss Holder. I don't blame you for losing your heart to darkness. And honestly, if I was in the King Mars world, I'd probably do the same thing with Erd. I'll be on the floor sitting there for 7 days, being like, why did they kill Erd? <laughs> I'm in danger! If you no longer have hope for this world, purge it. Have you seen the Purge movie? That's what we're gonna do, man. Plunge the 13 lights into Shadow. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. Make the lights disappear. Oh my god, Baldur's got the curse mark, and now he's gone insane. So much power. A power of darkness. Darkness within darkness. Darkness within darkness. The true story. Oh my god, Kinmar's Dark Road is based on a true story. I heard about your sister. Is this all because of her? Holder? Oh no. In fact, I'm the one who got rid of her. I knew it! What? Alright, so it wasn't Maleficent then. Or it was Maleficent who got possessed by darkness. One of those two. Holder, Heimdall, Helgi, Sigrun. The younger ones, Bragi, Erd, and Hermod were especially easy. I feel it flipping. No way! <gasps> no. Okay, so yeah, it wasn't. Oh my God, so it's holy snap! I'm seeing everything happen all at once. Oh my God, no! And I won't watch this anymore. Oh, it hurts me every time I see that. That's crazy. Okay, so the darkness took out Holder. Maybe in the form of Maleficent or either possessing Maleficent, one of those two. And it kind of confirms my theory where after he killed Holder, he jumped into Balder. Because at that point, Balder was kind of weak. And also maybe because he wants to jump to Balder because Balder might be the strongest one. I don't know. Just a guess. Like design-wise, he looks like he would be the strongest one. And after that, Balder took out the other three of Holder's classmates. It kind of makes sense because we didn't see Balder in that cutscene even though we knew that Balder was there at the time. I'm assuming that Balder is probably hiding behind the scene waiting to jump in to take him out. And then we see Baldo take out Bragi in the underworld. Kind of slam him to the ground. Kind of like seismic tossed him. But if Bragi is really Zigbar, then he's not dead. And then Hermann and Ur got defeated by him in the dark corridors. You saw that shadow. And that shadow was him. And I think that's kind of about it for everybody he took out. Kind of crazy he took out seven of them. He'll make eight. You. You won't get away with this. I already did. Alright, upstairs. What the heck? <laughs> don't tell me this cutscene is Zaynor and Eric is running up the stairs. And then that's it. Please don't be like that. <laughs> this would be a useless cutscene at the case. She must be upstairs. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? I called it. This cutscene is just them saying, she must be upstairs. And I just walk upstairs and that's it. What the heck? Sometimes the cutscene in this game is like, why? <laughs> like, why does this need to be a cutscene? That's like the funniest cutscene in this game, I'm not gonna lie. And it's funny also, I called it as well. Wow, almost done. That's crazy. Okay, so let's do one more cutscene and I'll save the rest for next episode. I should be able to finish five cutscenes next episode. Okay, so if you see the cutscene at the bottom, you kind of got spoiled. Oh my god, okay, a place to return. Get him, get him, Vor. Oh my god, literally all this thing. Look at this. No. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yo, you see that attack? Yo, man, Baldo must be like a hacker or something like that. That's not even a skill in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So I don't know how he got that skill. Maybe he's like one of the developers or something like that. Maybe Baldo is like a super hidden whale. And he spent so much money that he got an exclusive skill in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Honestly, Baldo looks like he'll be a whale. So yeah, I'm not really shocked. But it's kind of cool to see him jump in to save or even though they're sort of behind. I don't know how they got past Zaynor and Ericus. Yeah, this is where they all die. Baldo takes out all four of them. That's crazy. I mean, think about it. Baldo took out three of these upper classmen. And not only that, but he took down Zeno's classmates really easily. So this is like nothing to him. Adar, he. Darkness took Heimdall and the others from us. I thought as much. The loss of Holder was too much for Baldo. I don't blame him. We're responsible too. Then make it up to him. 
accept your fate. There's only one thing we can do for you now. What? Oh my god, the ninja guys finally talk. Oh my god, I thought he was like gonna be mute the entire time. Like he's a like, silent protagonist. Her hoarder and her honor. Let's get it! Go peacefully. May your heart be your guiding key. Oh no, may your heart be your guiding key, the dark. You're all dead here. <laughs> you guys all die, unfortunately. Do your worst. On your left. Oh, look at this. This is so cool, man. This wasn't the plan. Goodbye. Oh my god, what the heck is this? He has a stand. Oh, he's. That's Susano. That's literally Susano. He's Itachi the entire time. I called it. No! They're all dead. Vidar, Vala, Vali, Vidar, no! Also, I just noticed that all the names start with V. It's kind of like a tongue twister if you say it really fast. That's crazy. Look at this. Balder with his Susano, or I guess maybe Pokemon. Hey, his heartless more like Pokemon again. Is that the darkest true form? Maybe it's like Ansem and his Guardian, or like Terra technically. And before like, Balder the Guardian, this entire cutscene is absolutely insane. I just love how evil Balder looks. Like, even though I really like Balder, him being evil, I'm not gonna lie, he looks really cool. And also that one part where Balder's like charging up to summon this thing, it's kind of like him powering up or something like that. I thought he could like go golden and be like golden freeze or something or like maybe like the god of destruction but like ultra ego eight nine ten oh my god follow like that one kid playing call of duty getting kill streaks <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness man bald is insane all you're trying to do is try to beat his record and get like the high score or something like that i'm sorry no not Vala and the ninja dude Vali. i'm sorry it's up to you now Get the Fire Emblem. This is where you get Isekai into Fire Emblem. Claude! Balder. Balder. Susano. Actually, it kind of looks like Susano, right? No! Not four! Why her? <laughs> Why? Four. Four. Oh my god. Eleven! <laughs> Yo, he's literally trying to get a kill streak, trying to get a helicopter in Call of Duty. I know in Call of Duty, like once you get a kill streak, they say like triple kill, quadruple kill, and all stuff like that. Yeah, it's literally Baldur right now. We're playing a video game. Oh, not four, man. Four is literally She Hulk. You have to be the strongest one out of all of us. Sorry, I screwed up. You don't have to apologize for this. Not for this. I'm sorry I left you my friends behind. I'm glad she finally figured out, like, she literally said how she didn't want to say goodbye to her friends, but then she left her friends behind. Oh, not Vor, man. I would have missed them. At least Broggy's still alive. Or like Zigbar or whatever. This is where I belong. But where do you belong? Not the final- No! Vor. Oh man, also the dangerous teardrop went to the side, man. Like, how did that even happen? It must be like a draft in here or something. That leaves 12 and lucky 13. Oh, everything comes back to the number 13. Because you remember, I really love the number 13. We come this far. Let's finish this somewhere worthy of the occasion. Like, where'd Master Odin? Didn't Master Odin say he's gonna help take out Balder? He's nowhere to be seen. He's like sitting in his chair, <laughs> watching the entire thing unfold. I guess technically speaking, he's saying how he's like meditating right now. Yeah, he's basically literally jeering, trying to like meditate, unleash his full power. And can you imagine he takes off his robe and he's literally like Master Roshi with like super buff? That'd be kind of cool, man. Anyway, to call the video quits here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. A lot of stuff happened to the episode. Next episode will be the finale of this game. <laughs> Man, this is getting good, but at the same time, it's so sad. Like, in the beginning of this video, I was like, no one else can die, right? Surely no one else will die. And then everybody died. Literally everybody died. The only three people left, not including Balder, is Odin, Daenor, and Ericus. And I guarantee you, Odin's gonna die. Odin probably gonna sacrifice himself or something like that, and then he's gone. After that's gonna be, like, Xehanort and Ericus left. And I'm kind of hoping that in one of the early cutscenes when Daenor was in the graveyard, like, the four graves are not his friends. Even though the chances of them being his friends is kind of high, I was kind of hoping that it wasn't. But yeah, apparently, after all this, it is his friends. And I'm assuming one of the graves must 
must have been Broggy, but they don't know that Broggy's still alive. They kind of made a grave for him, even though he's not dead. Either that or it's Baldur's. Do you guys think that Baldur survives this, or then he dies? I don't know, Baldur's such a unique character that I feel like he'll probably do more in the future. So I feel like it'd be kind of a waste if they kill him off here. But at the same time, he's kind of like the big bad boss in this game. So yeah, they kind of had to take out someone, right? I don't know, man. We'll see if he survives or not in the next episode. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Like, let me know what you guys thought about everything so far. But yeah, next episode, the finale. And after that, we're going back to 3502 Days. I definitely look forward to finishing this game because I've been missing playing 3502 Days. But not only that, but I kind of want to know what happened in the story. And also, another Kingdom Hearts game I have down when it comes to Let's Plays. Or I guess Let's Watch. Yeah, technically speaking, I'm not really playing the game. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more Kingdom Hearts Dark Road Let's Watches, be sure to like the subscribe button and plan on doing more of them. And if you guys interested in my Kingdom Hearts Dark Road Let's Watches, I upload them every single Wednesday. So that's definitely time to check my channel if you guys are interested. But anyways, kind of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys look forward to the next episode because that's when things get super interesting. I'm super excited to find out what happens. But yeah, anyways, kind of video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.